What's up, guys? So, I figured I'd just let people know how I've been feeling as of recently. Because I really, I'll be honest, I really don't want to talk to anyone anymore. Um, I really... And if people think I'm a bad friend, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm really fucking damaged in life. And I'm always in pain. Such a severe state of pain. And my health is just failing more and more. And I know I don't have much time left in this world. And, um, I'm fine with that, you know, um, I'm not afraid of death, um, I just know the more I go through life, the less people I trust, and the less I want to, like, communicate with people because it's very hard to want to talk when all you've gotten was punched in the face. Uh, you know, and I, I don't want to offend anyone, but this is where I am in life. Uh, I don't really talk to anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone. Uh, I kind of focus a lot on myself inwardly. Um, and, uh, focusing on God and, you know, knowing where I am spiritually. Because even though I'm getting sicker, this world doesn't have much longer left. Uh, the leaders of this world are absolutely insane. They're violent. Um, they don't care about anyone. And not only that, they're the S word. Uh, they want to see the destruction of all mankind in any way they can, you know? You know, if you look at Morals and Dogma by Alfred, Al, Albert Pike, um, he talks about the plan. You know, it starts off with a race war, then a religious war, and the ultimate goal is the nuclear war, where all life is destroyed, except the few that goes in their bunkers and waits there for God knows how long, like, fallout. <laughs> The way how spoiled these people are, they're not going to last long. They'll eat each other. <laughs> they're going to eat each other. You know, there's more and more plans of this lab-grown human meat that we are meant to consume. Uh... You know, Soylent Green. Which is actually, if you watch Soylent Green, it actually is predicted at this time. The date is when Soylent Green does happen. So it probably best to, like, 
Try to be a vegetarian as much as you can. Because God knows what's going to go on in the next maybe couple years. And maybe sooner than that. The way Israel is looking. It's almost soon. See, right before the great and terrible day of the Lord... Israel is supposed to be surrounded and the whole world is supposed to come against Israel. That's looking like that's about to happen. The UN is condemning Israel. The United States is kind of, I would say, fence sitting in a lot of ways. You know, they're providing the bombs to Israel, but at the same time, they're, like, low-condemning Israel. I don't know how sending bombs will help that, but the military-industrial complex has to make their money so their overlords can have their little blood rituals whatever me i just i just don't care anymore about this world like everything i do now i'm thinking about heaven i'm thinking about being with jesus this world It wasn't meant to last forever. It wasn't meant to last forever. The problem with evil, though, in this world, even though, like, pretty much every life is corrupted by evil, evil can't create anything. It can only destroy Love is the only thing that can create. Unfortunately, the powers of this world haven't figured out that the greatest of power is love because it creates. Destroying everything ain't going to do you any good because you can't create. How can you create when all your purpose is, is to destroy? See, you kick down the creators of this world while profiting off their backs and then kicking them. But you yourself don't know how they do what they do. Or you couldn't even start to imagine how you would go to create said things. Because love is not in you. That's pretty pathetic to me. Like you're on top right now. Only because you fed off the backs of men and women. At the end of the day, <laughs> when all plans are done with, you're not going to have anything and you're not going to have any idea where to start. Being evil, being bad, being nasty, being gross ain't going to do you any good. At the end of it. Why do you think Jesus said. The meek shall inherit the earth. Another problem with evil is. 
It's impatient. It's impulsive. And it cannot think for itself. It can only consume. Hmm. What choice shall I make? To be evil and destroy or to love and create? I think I'll create. I think I'll love. What do you choose? What do you choose? I choose Jesus Christ. I choose heaven. I choose love. I choose being poor too because of it. I know being evil could help my scenario. But is it worth losing my soul to get some Monopoly money? It's just a concept that man created so they can have a way of trading goods and services. I don't know. Like I said, I don't communicate with people very often. I don't really talk to anyone. Mainly because I don't want to talk to anyone. Because I'm really done at being hurt by people. You know, I'm in so much physical pain. And emotional pain due to severe trauma. I don't have time to destroy. I don't have time or energy to be mad at someone or angry at someone. I don't need to do that. I don't need to compromise my self-worth just because someone wants to continue in bad behavior that is evil and inappropriate. I used to get angry. I used to know, not know how to handle cruelty of man. Like, really upset me. Now it's like a mosquito bite. It itches, but eventually it goes away. doesn't feel like a knife in the back anymore, which is good. That's improvement. <clears throat> but when someone lives their whole life in abusive scenarios, how do you expect one to know how to behave when abuse is done to them. And why blame the person that is getting abused anyway? It's not their fault. Hmm. This world is interesting. And Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. Uh, 
most of the prophecies have been fulfilled. And people really need to start preparing themselves. Because the end is so soon. Oh, sorry. And life flashes by so fast. People need to start preparing themselves because what are you going to do if you don't prepare yourself and you're in front of the Lord and you didn't do what he needed you to do. Instead, you choose yourself and your selfish, greedy intentions. I don't want to be looked like that by God. So, peace of Maranatha. If you could pray for me, like I said, my health is not good and it's not looking like it's going to get any better. Um, but everything is in God's will at the end of the day. So peace and Maranatha, my loves. Be good. This world is so full of evil. Be the good. Be the light. Don't practice that darkness. It's never worth it. And it will never bring you happiness. Bye, guys.